Alrighty, the totes have been filled with 10 gallons, well, a little less than 10 gallons, I'm not doing quite five ounces of wool. And they've been, uh, they've got two tablespoons of Orvis paste in them. Here's my four ounces. These are just um, veggie bags you get at the grocery store. I've labeled them since they both kind of look the same. So this one's Rambouillet. And this one is Merino. Take a peek. This Rambouillet is so pretty. Really love it. And here's the Merino. It's got the super crimp. Let's pick them up. Put them in. Can't try to leave the tags off the side so they don't get get wet. Glove on. The water is hot. It's about 130, but it's not super duper hot. But uh, gloves pretty. Handy. Still. Right, so I'm just going to push it in. These actually don't need to stay in the water for too long. Probably longer than the, um, the yarn. Okay, I'm just going to gently push it in. This isn't really agitating it. I guess people are really scary about agitating the fiber, but this just honestly isn't going to do much to it. It's fine. Water's getting pretty dirty. Fiber's looking pretty white. Pull it up. You can see. Lots of dirt. The tips are still looking pretty dark. It might um, take a bit more to wash these because I flicked the tips on the um, spoon in the grease, so I didn't have to fight with that. Let's see. Just gonna squeeze it just a little bit. And I'm not like rubbing it, so that's what would cause the felting, so it's fine. Just lightly. Really squeezing it. This water is so dirty. Yeah, the tips are still really dark. That's okay. I'll work out. I still have one more wash, so this is just the first. Ooh, coming up. I'm gonna put the phone down so I can actually you know, work with this a little better, and then I'm gonna put them in the second. 